Next, we move on to the hydro layer test. This is also a two-part test. The first part test uses the lift pull tape, but what we do is we mark the lens using an ordinary AR pen, and then we try to peel that ink away, and hopefully it's going to remain on the tape, which it does. The second part of the hydro layer test is the water droplet. And all of you who are familiar with contact lenses or remem remember wetting angle, uh, basically it's the same idea. What you're looking for on that water droplet is that it's a consistent, beautiful spherical shape and the angle between where the water droplet ends and it meets the lens is good and sharp. It's an acute angle. And as you tilt the lens and allow the water droplet to run off, you don't want res residual water. You don't want a trail left behind it. Because we're trying to duplicate two years worth of use and abuse and kind of compact it into a 15 minute test, what we do now is run through this series two more times. Once we have the results of that series of three tests, we have these guides or rubrics that allow us to judge the results of each of the tests against both subjective and objective measures. What you're always looking for is a lens to score four or higher, which this particular lens does. Ito is small experiment lang. Um, ito yung isang eyeglasses ko, eyewear. Tapos, ito yung bago. Ito yung may AR coating. Okay. Ito yung merong multifocal. Okay. Tapos, ito yung isa. Anti-reflective din siya. Itong isa. Kaya makikita nyo, ayan na, yung blue light. Diba? Tapos, itong isa, hindi siya ganun ka. Ano. One coat lang kasi to. One coat, UV protected lang to. Okay. Tapos, itong isa naman, itong bago ko, multifocal, tsaka anti-reflective. Uh, ano, ano rin siya, progressive din siya. Okay, so ayun, kumbaga, kung tingnan niyo yung violet na light. Nagpo-focus siya sa taas, nagpo-focus siya sa gitna, nagpo-focus siya sa baba. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi nila na distance, immediate, intermediate, then reading. Okay? Yung sa near. Pero itong isa, yung sa dati ko, wala siyang, do, parang ganun din siya. Okay? Pero wala siyang anti-reflective. Okay? Siguro meron din siyang progressive, pero wala lang siyang reflective. So, ayan o. Oh pumapasok pa rin ng konti yung light. Uh, tamang pang reading glasses lang kasi to. Pero, ito, indoor-outdoor, para sa mga gadgets. And, mas maganda yung UV protection nito, kaya mas mahal yung lenses. So, since ito, meron siyang AR coating, or tinatawag na anti-reflective uh, na coating, or multifocal, para malaman kung Uh, ano yung focus na ginagawa? Sabi, sabi iti test out daw. So, try natin. Ito yung aking... Ah, sorry. Ayan. Ano to eh? Trinansfer ko lang dito. Sa contact lens ko to. Ayan. Soflon. Okay. Ayan. So, makikita nyo kung anti-dust ba siya or nakaka-reduce ba siya ng dust or ng water, mga oil, mga ganyan. Yan. Yan. So, meron siyang konting residue na makikita. Meron kayo makikita dyan eh. Ayan o. Oh. So, ayan yung water niya, di ba? Nakikita nyo. Okay. So, ito naman yung isa. wala siyang kahit anong bakat, di ba? 
malinaw na malinaw. Yan yung merong AR coating, kaya mas mahal siya. Though, halos same sila nito, na meron silang coating. Okay. Yun yung difference nila bakit mas mahal tong isa kaysa dito sa isang lens ko rito. By the way, kaya pala ako nagpalit ng lens ko, it's because nasira na rin naman to. Ano? Saan na ba? Ano ba papakita sa nito? Ano? 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 Diba? Ano? Ito. Tumatabingi talaga to. Kasi nadaganan siya. So, ayan. Sayang, favorite ko pa naman tong frame na to. Pero okay lang. Kasi, <laughs> mas maganda ang nakikita ko rito. Mas clear sa sobrang laki. <laughs> Yun lang. Thanks guys for watching.